शांति ओम शांति सभी मधुबन में आके All of you have come to Madhuban at this confluence and you are enjoying yourselves. In the entire Kalpa, if there is any time when you have enjoyment, it is the confluence time. So all of you are enjoying yourselves, are you not? Are you enjoying yourselves? Baba says that over here you are enjoying yourselves. If you don't enjoy yourself, then what will happen? You will be confused. So either you are enjoying yourself or you are in confusion. We have all come out from confusion. We have now found our companion. So we have stopped being confused. And we are enjoying ourselves. Baba has given us the title. When you are enjoying yourself, Baba has given you the title that you have no worries. Baba says, you are the king. You are the kings who have no worries. You are not the kind of kings who have any worries. Have you got any worries? If anyone has any worry, please raise your hand. None of you have any worries. You just have the sweet worry, and that is to be equal to the Father. That is not really a worry, but that is your aim and object, that you want to be equal to the Father as soon as possible. You want to take the number one, you want to pass with distinction. So who is the one who can be, who can stay in enjoyment? Baba says that whatever direction I give you, Maya hears that even before you hear that. Whatever aspect that Baba tells us, you hear and Maya also hears the direction. Maya knows what Srimad you, you are getting from Baba. So Maya also makes her own plans. So Baba says, Maya is very clever because Maya also knows she doesn't know entirely, but Maya has the knowledge her own kind of knowledge. Like here, we have the power of silence. And in the world, they have the power of science. Our power of silence is very strong. And in the world, the power of science, they also come out with new inventions. Science is also making progress. But we know that the power of silence will win at the end. However powerful science may be at this time, the power of silence will be victorious. Even the scientists now admit that science has also taken birth from silence. You know that the new inventions of science is also comes through only when they are in deep silence. If they don't sit in deep silence, then 
the inventions of science will also not be made. The scientists also say that the weapons which have been invented, they also have been invented, they have been inspired through the scriptures of the Mahabharata and the Gita. The scientists also know that the power of silence has given them birth. Science has also taken birth through the power of silence. But of course, science has its own power its own influence and silence has its own Baba influence. Baba has told you, especially when you did the course, remember the first murli you heard after doing the course. Do you remember the first murli? Each one of you, when you heard the first murli, in that murli, Baba would have given you the direction that Maya will definitely come. Maya will create obstacles. Maya will cause many battles. Maya does its own work and we have to carry out with our own task. Maya will definitely Maya will definitely come your way, but you have to defeat Maya. Maya's work is to come, and our task is to be victorious. All of you must have heard this in your first murli. Baba has told us, told us this from the very beginning. Baba has not hidden anything from us. Baba knows that after telling you, you will not have any fear. So many instances, many circumstances will come your way. Maya knows what your weakness is, what is your weak point. Very quickly, Maya can judge which is your weak point. You have the eight powers, and each one of you has the eight powers. But maybe there is one power in which you are weak. Maybe you are complete in seven powers, and one power is your weakness. So Maya knows which is your weak which is your weak point. Like you have a door, if you shut the door, it is not completely shut, shut sometimes. If there is a defect in the door, then sometimes it is left a bit ajar. So if the door is left ajar, anyone can come in. Maya is like that. Maya knows in which power the percentage is less, in which you are weak, and then Maya comes in through that weak point, through that door, just like a mouse. The, the mouse knows how to judge a mouse can be very big, but it can squeeze itself through any opening. So Maya is also like a mouse which squeezes itself in when there is any point which lets it come through. Maya is not square, scared to squeeze through. That is why Baba has been giving you the murlis this year. Maya has, Baba has asked us to pay attention on three points. You must have noted them down. The first point, Baba has given us the title, 
Ma Baba said that you are you have the title of being master all powerful ones are you the master powerful ones or master all powerful ones raise your hands if you are the just the powerful ones if you are just the powerful ones not the master all powerful ones if you feel that there is some power which is less then raise your hands all of you are have passed all of you are the master all powerful ones are all of you the all powerful ones so baba has said that the year that has passed Baba had given us three directions that is that you have the title of being the master all powerful ones so check all your powers whether you have the power to judge the power to tolerate the power to judge it is because you have weakness of these powers that maya comes and pushes you Baba has said that you are the master, all powerful ones. So check yourself. And the second point, do you have all your relations with Baba? All your relationships, are they with Baba? Even if one relationship is less, if we can say that Baba, you are our father, our teacher, our Satguru, you are our father, our teacher and Satguru. In these relationships, we are with Baba. But what about the other relationships? Even if one relationship is less, then Maya is such that she will pull you through that relationship in which there is, you have not connected with Baba. You will remember Baba as your father, as your teacher and Satguru. But supposing Baba is not your companion completely, then what will happen? If you haven't accepted Baba completely as your companion, if the connection is not full, then Maya will deceive you through that relationship of companionship. Whether, Ma whether Baba is your friend, whether Baba is your child, the Kumaris, they used to say, when we came, we were very little, and Baba used to teach us. Baba used to tell us that Baba is also your child, and we used to feel shy. How can Baba be our child? We were very little. We were just 12 years or 14 years old. And so, when Baba used to say, that he is also your child, then we used to look down, we used to feel shy. We used to say, how can Baba be our child? And Baba used to say that if you don't make me your child, then I will also not make you my child. So Baba used to say that if you make me your child, then you will have love for me. Because mothers definitely have so much love for their children. Because they are the creation and you give all your property to your child. In the foreign countries, maybe you do not give all your inheritance to your children, but in India, the father definitely gives all that he has to his child. So Baba used to say that 
you make me your child and then I will receive everything from you. And you probably do not know when we used to first bring the groups, just like you group, you come in a group from London or from America, we also used to be the guides and we used to bring groups over here. Baba used to meet the parties, the groups, and he used to ask them three questions. Like when you go to dadis, all of you get, go, get together and go and meet the dadis like that. The groups also used to go to meet Baba. And then Baba used to ask them three questions, whether you are fail or whether you pass. So the first question was, children, are you meeting your father for the first time? And what do you think they used to answer? Some brothers and sisters used to say, yes, Baba, we have come for the first time. And Baba used to ask them, have you never met me before? And Baba used to ask them this question because whether they were aware that they had met Baba every 5,000 years. And if someone said that they had come for the first time, Baba used to say, you have failed because you don't have the knowledge of the cycle of the last kalpa. And then the second question, when the mothers used to come from the family, Baba used to ask them, how many children do you have? And the mothers used to reply according to their lokic children. And then Baba used to say, is it only two children, the lokic children? Now we will do traffic control. So Baba used to ask, and in a very ordinary way, the mothers used to talk about their lokic children. And then Baba used to tell them, haven't you made Shiv Baba your child? And if they didn't include Shiv Baba, then Baba used to fail them. We were the guides, and it became very famous that in the train, we used to tell all the groups that Baba would be asking them these questions. We used to tutor the parties and we used to tell them that what answer they would give. And the third question, Baba used to tell them, have you heard the murli uh, of today? And we used to tell Baba that they have just arrived. And Baba used to tell them that first you should have read the Murli and then come to meet me. And then if they hadn't read the Murli, then Baba used to fail them. And we used to tell Baba that we haven't received the Murli because the Murli used to come through the post. And Baba used to say, that when you arrived here, you should have first re read the Murli and then come to meet me. So these were the three questions. So all of you don't fail for these three questions. If Baba asks you that have you come here for the first time, then you say that we have come for the first time in this Kalpa. That is the right answer. So Baba used to make us very firm through these three questions. 
Baba used to say that you must accept me as your child and then you will have the thought of putting aside something for your child. Like a mother when she cooks and if one child is not present, if one child is working, she will definitely put aside some food for that child. She will not finish the food. So Baba used to say, whatever you do, supposing you have two Loki children, you still have one child, that is Shiv Baba, who gives you all the happiness. The other Loki children, as they grow up, they might be naughty, they might trouble you, but Shiv Baba is always with you. He gives you your life. He gives you all the attainments. He is the bestower. And how can you forget Shiv Baba? How can you forget Shiv Baba, who is your child? So Baba says you must join all your relationships with Baba. The first is you must be full in all the powers and the second is that you must join all your relationships with Baba. And the third is practically you have to inculcate all the virtues in this life. Not that towards the end you say that we will become complete with the virtues at the end. At the end, there will be no one to see how complete with virtues you have become. Supposing you have the power to judge, but you don't have the virtue of introspection. I talk a lot, supposing you are very, you talk a lot, you come into speech and you don't have the virtue of introspection and supposing you think that you will become complete at the end, then at the end there will be no one to take your test. The tests are coming now and you have to pass through the tests at this time. Therefore, Baba says, all the, all the powers, all the relationships and all the virtues, you must check all these things with you, within you at this time. If there is a weakness of any of these three points, if you think that you are not introspective, if there is a variety in you, then if you can't introspect, if you don't have the power within you through introspection, then how will you be able to serve through the mind? Otherwise, the service of the mind will not be able to reach even the souls who are in front of you. If there is no practice of introspection, if you cannot make your mind stable, then how can you serve the world? It is there is a secret of introspection. They say introspection, that is, you have to keep your 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 mouth, your speech, silence. They say go within through your, uh, through your speech. Your face is of all the senses. And they say, when they say that you have to introspect, then all your sense organs, you have to look within them. Think about it, you have the power of judgment through your mind, you have the power of talk, the power of vision, the power of smell, and the power to eat. So all the powers are within your face. So the face, you have to look within all the sense organs which are within your face. 
So you must learn to look within all the powers, especially the five powers which are reflected through your face. If you gain victory over this, then you will definitely be victorious. If you have attraction, it is the attraction to eat something or you might have the attraction to hear something like a song or someone's talk or if there is a waste thought, it is in your mind or if it is to see, it is the eyes which deceive you. That is why Baba says that it is the face that reflects everything and if you look within, all that is within your face, then you will be ever happy. These are your special powers. Within you, you have the soul. So when you have, when you look within all these powers, then you will be stabilized within your soul and then you will be ever happy. You will never have any sorrow because maya will not be able to enter because these are the five doors which let maya in. So don't open any of these doors. What happened once uh, when Dadi was living in Lucknow at night, she used to always shut the door, but one day, maybe we did not pay attention and we did not shut the door, the main door, and really a thief entered. And we thought that we always shut the door, so how can the thief come in? What happened, the uh, thief had to go to the house next door, which was shut. But he came in through our door, and he came in only because we had left the door open. It was our mistake for having left the door open. So we should not be careless. When we are careless, then some power within us becomes weak. So do not leave any door open, whether it is the do when the doors are left open, then the powers become less, your relationship with Baba become less, or the virtues also become less. Maya will definitely come in if you leave the doors open. Maya does not take time to come. And then what happens? You will lose your time and your energy in trying to be complete. So pay attention and lock all the doors. Keep a double lock on all these doors. The first lock is Baba's remembrance and the second is the lock of your, of your service. In thought, word or deed or action, you must do service. This also becomes a lock which let, does not let maya come in. If the mind or the intellect is left free, then maya definitely takes a chance to come in. A waste thought would come in if the mind or the intellect is left free. Maya is always waiting to put the waste thoughts within you. Even the meaningless thoughts, which have thoughts which have no meaning, they come. And we say that, Dadi, we never had the thought. We didn't have the feeling. I don't know how I did this action. It is because we were careless. We let Maya come in. So waste thoughts, neg negative thoughts, a waste of time, a waste of energy 
we lose a lot in this. And if we do not accumulate this energy at this time, then in the entire kalpa, we have to accumulate for the entire kalpa at this time. In the golden age, you, ha you will eat from your credit, what you have credited at this time from your bank balance. And in the copper age, you will be the worshippers. And the people will worship you in the copper age according to what you have accumulated. When Dadi was living in Delhi, it is a story, maybe it's a repetition, but in Delhi there was a museum and next to the museum there was a temple. It was the temple of a mother, a Buddha mother. And they used to offer bhog to that mother. It is raw oats. They used to offer raw oats were offered as bhog to that mother in that temple. And, you know, in the temples, they put water on the idols. And when they used to put uh, water on the idol, then that water also used to um, come in into those oats which were being offered. And the Sevadari of that temple was very lazy. He never used to clean the temple. And we asked the Sevadari over there that how do you offer uh, oats to the mother, to that idol? So he used to say that that mother is very old and that is why we offer oats. We do not offer anything else. And there was a smell because of the mother, because of the water that used to fall in the oats. So although that mother was worshipped, but she was worshipped in not a very pure way. And when we have another temple, like the Jagannath temple, who is, who is given a tilak of gold, but in India, they have a grinding stone and they used to grind the gold and they used to grind the gold and the saffron together and then they used to put the tilak of that. So compare the worship. On the one side, you had dry oats that were being offered and on the other hand, you had the tilak of gold and saffron that was being put to another idol. So Baba says that the more you accumulate, the more energy that you accumulate at this time, in the copper age, the higher the worship you will get and the higher the status you will have in the golden age. There are some brothers and sisters who say that only one king will sit in the golden age. There are just the eight who will sit on the throne. It is just the eight who will sit on the throne. But of course, you can have the aim to come in the royal family. You have Lakshmi Narayan the first. You might say that we cannot be Lakshmi Narayan the first because Baba and Mama have already been given that position. But you can definitely come into the royal family. The status of the royal family is just as high as, be, as being Lakshmi and Narayan. 
in Nepal, when Baba was not in knowledge, when Baba was working as a jeweler, he was in Calcutta, and from Calcutta, he used to visit Nepal. And he was in contact with the king of Nepal, who used to wear a lot of jewels. Baba used to go to Nepal to the king and show them jewelry that he used to make. And when the king of Nepal met Baba, when he saw Baba's activities, he was very impressed and he became friends with Baba. You see Baba's picture in the photographs. It is as if Narayan is standing. So the king of Nepal was very impressed with Baba. Baba was also very good at his business. He used to be a good businessman. And he used to conduct his business in a very clever way. And the Nepal king was very impressed with the art of business. And Baba became like a family member of the royal household. So one day, when the, uh, when the king of Nepal had his darbar, all his, uh, those of the royal ha household, then Baba, the king of Nepal, told Baba that you should have been king in my place, but in the ro but in the golden age you will be king and one day the king showed baba how they used to assemble as a royal household he took baba in that hall and baba told us what he saw in that hall all the royal household were wearing crowns. It wasn't only the king who was wearing a crown, but when the royal family assembled, then each one of the royal family was wearing a crown. So at the end, in Nepal, if everyone is wearing a crown, definitely we will also be wearing a crown in the golden age. When you belong to the royal family in the golden age, you will also be wearing a crown, even though you do not become Lakshmi and Narayan. You must definitely have the aim to be in the royal family. You will be very important. So all of you want to be in the royal family, do you not? You can all make the effort to come in the royal household, whether it is in the first birth or the second birth or the third birth. So make that effort. This is the time that must not be wasted. You must not waste your energy either. You must not waste any of your powers. The basis of all your, uh, what, all your income is your thought power. Without the power of thought, you cannot do anything. In this year, which is now ending, Baba gave you a very good method. Baba said, the short and easy effort, which is that? Baba says, I see my children, they work so hard. Baba says, I do not like to see my children working so hard. Baba says, whenever you have a waste thought, how does it come? First you have a waste thought and then you speak it out and then you perform your action. You have the three stages. So if 
When the thought comes, if you change it at that point, check yourself. When the thought comes, then definitely you will not have to make any effort for your talk and for your action. You just have to make the effort to change the thought to change the waste thought into a powerful thought, to ta change the negative thought into a powerful thought, to change the waste thought into the best thought. So if we can change the thought, then you can achieve a lot. Can you change your thought? Raise your, ha raise your hand if you are going to check your thoughts. Will you check Are your thoughts? Bolo to say haanji. Uh, please ah, say Hanji. The new year Nere is going to come, to and you must definitely show pa some pa sort of a wonder in the new world. Daddy says that the Aise war in, in India is like the monkeys fighting each other. The war is on the threshold. India is on the threshold of war. It is as if the two monkeys are confronting each other. They are trying to start the war, but it is drama which is stopping the war because we are not ready. But the missiles are also in place. Everything is ready. Pakistan says we do not want to make have war and India also is saying we do not want to start a war. So why are you sending all the arsenal there? Why are you sending all the manpower there? At, in the newspaper we have heard that the military parade which takes place before the 26th January the, that has been stopped. The parade has been stopped because the military has been diverted to the border. So if you don't want to have war, then why is the military being diverted to the border? To the border? All, all the preparations are made and it is the drama which is stopping them because the children are not ready. So Daddy says, all of you, must definitely make your efforts strong so that you become ready and then the war will take place. If you, saw, if you see the scenes on television, you can see all the bloodshed that is happening every day through the terrorists. It is the innocent also who are perishing. The terrorists go scot-free and it is the innocent who are being, who are dying. In 1937, Baba first showed us these scenes of bloodshed. It is the scenes of bloodshed uh, of the ignorant, of the innocent people. In 1937, Baba showed us how the innocent would be destroyed, how the civil wars would take place. In India, we will definitely have civil wars because of all the different religions over here. All the religions are in full force, and in Bharat, definitely, we will have religious wars which will be the civil wars. And all these wars are stopped because of because the children are not complete. So who have who has stopped the destruction? It is we children who have put the destruction on hold. We must definitely become ready quickly. Uh, in the television, sometimes they show, and I see all the innocent ones who are dying. There is mercy for everyone because they are all souls. They are our brothers and sisters. 
So Baba says, now the new year is starting and Baba will give us new directions. But the year that is ending, Dadiji is making us revise whatever homework Baba gave us in this year. We must definitely carry out the homework which Baba has given us this year. Today is the 28th. We just have three days left for this year that is to end. In these three days, we must make ourselves ever ready. When Baba comes on the 31st and Baba asks us, we should be able to say, that we are following the directions that you have given us. Should Baba ask you, all of you, to raise your hands? Have you all fulfilled the directions? Should, should you all raise your hands? Should Baba ask you to raise your hands? Will you all pass? If Baba asks you to raise your hand, Dadiji will definitely tell Baba to ask the foreigners raise their hands. The foreigners will definitely pass. So Dadi says, in these three days, you must end all your weaknesses. Om Shanti.